Hey everyone! This is not part of my animation vlog. This is a special video that I wanted to make in the wake of the derpy censorship in My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Now here's a quick rundown if you are unaware of the controversy. In the early episodes of My Little Pony, there was an animation glitch in a background pony making one of the pony's eyes appear to be lazy. The fans noticed this and quickly named her Derpy Hooves. Since then, she has gradually become a huge fan favorite, and the animators began including her and her lazy eyes in most of the episodes as an easter egg, and fans would scour the episodes to see if they could find Derpy. Eventually, in the episode The Last Roundup, Derpy was officially named in a scene and given speaking lines, and the bronies were elated. This was a special inclusion just for bronies because we loved Derpy so so much and she's become such a part of the fandom. Now recently that scene has been changed. All mention of her name was removed, her eyes were fixed, and her voice was redubbed to sound less, well, derpy. Now to give you some background on internet culture, the word derp is commonly used to describe disability or simply clumsiness. It is a common internet joke, and at times it has been used offensively since the internet is full of terrible people. But in relation to the character Derpy, it has never been meant as an insult. Derpy is often depicted in fanfiction with any number of disabilities, from simply the lazy eye and nothing else, to mental disabilities. And the official show went with the lazy eye and clumsiness as her traits. But no matter how one portrays Derpy, she has always been beloved and adored. Her having been censored sits pretty badly with the brony community because we love Derpy. We love her with her flaws and feel that she is a valuable addition to the show's canon. She has been censored because some felt that she was offensive, that the community was making fun of those with disabilities. And I can certainly understand this misconception, especially if one has only ever seen the word derp used at its least innocuous. And in this day and age of political correctedness, those producing shows for children do not want to step on any toes. They seem to have this idea that we shouldn't even acknowledge the disabled's existence, lest it be offensive, because somehow it's less offensive to say, hey, no making fun of the disabled in our show, in our show, the disabled don't even exist. I'm not sure that I have ever seen a sensitively handled cartoon depicting a disabled character, although I'm sure there are some, and if you know of any, please let me know in the comments. But is My Little Pony the show to do it? Well, I certainly feel that My Little Pony could. This show, with its positive messages and applicable life lessons, could certainly do it. An episode focusing on Derpy and her struggles with her disability, as well as other ponies learning how to love and accept her with it, would be excellent. Now. Is this what Derpy currently is? No. But is she the offensive mocking of the disabled that those against her seem to think? Not at all! The fandom loves Derpy, and not to laugh at, we genuinely love her. To me, it all comes down to testaments like this one. This was a message written on a brony community. I actually have derpy eyes. To be more specific, my eyes are both completely functional, but my brain only gets information from one at a time, akin to lazy eye. The times I can see using both eyes, I end up with terrible double vision and migraines. This was actually taken 10 years after corrective surgery. I am incredibly clumsy, and when I explain that a reason for it is I have poor depth perception, their response is usually to throw something at me and see if I can catch it. I normally can't and normally end up hit. Whenever I see Derpy, I see a pony who never lets her visual impairment get in the way of trying to do her best at her job. When I look at the fans who love this pony and are so quick to get excited when things happen with this pony being accepted into canon, I see acceptance of people with impairments that people tend to skirt around or be cruel about when facing them in real life. She's clumsy, she has Derpy eyes, and I know I'm late to the party on this, but seriously, what's so offensive about embracing a character with Derpy eyes and loving her for everything that she is? Now, I'm going to talk for a moment to just the bronies. Bronies, listen. This censorship did not surprise me in the slightest. What did surprise me is Derpy being officially named Derpy in the first place. I saw this coming a mile away that people would misunderstand Derpy. 
and I need you guys to calm down. And remember for a moment, the My Little Pony is still first and foremost a show for children. And the voices of the parents of those children are always going to sound louder than ours. And kids shows do not want controversy. Remember that shows have been canceled because of offensive characters. Say what? We also have to remember that while those working on the TV show love us bronies, the corporation of Hasbro is only just starting to warm to us. They still don't trust us, and what we should be fearing is that we will see less and less Easter eggs and shoutouts to us because Hasbro might just decide that catering to bronies gets them in trouble. So we need to calm down right now. How we react to this will be very crucial to how we will be perceived by Hasbro. If you want to calmly and rationally voice your opinion, that's fine. But please, let's not become an angry mob and harass people working for Hasbro. We as a community need to decide how we will respond. Will we respond like mature and reasonable adults, or will we behave like self-entitled babies and throw a temper tantrum? Well, that's about it for my message on Derpy. If I was looking down a lot, it's because I had all this written down and I didn't really memorize it. Um, so sorry for that. I'll still be doing my regular vlog later this week. Look forward to it Tuesday or Wednesday. See you guys.